We're here with Bruce Aitken. He's CEO of Methanex. And we're talking about methanol, not ethanol, methanol as an alternative fuel. Uh, you've got a very nice Lotus that runs entirely on methanol here. But first, I think a lot of people know what ethanol is. What's methanol? Methanol's made from either natural gas or coal or biomass. There's lots of ways of making methanol. And the good news about methanol, it's much cheaper to manufacture than ethanol. In, in terms of a product, it's very similar. They behave the same way in, in gasoline. They're both clean burning, they're environmentally benign. They help to displace uh, some of the crude oil that we import today. So lots of good features about uh, methanol. Uh, re relative to uh, gasoline and ethanol. Right, uh, and, and we've been talking about the dollar per mile cost, and you're saying methanol is a lot cheaper than gasoline. Well, it's competitive with gasoline, so it depends on the, the price of, uh, of gasoline at any point in time. But as a, general, as a general statement, it's true to say that it is competitive with gasoline. Okay, and what does methanol do for a car? How does the car yeah. perform differently well, when it's it has, on Well, it has high octane. It has another, this car has another 60 horsepower than, than the same car running on gasoline. So 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Uh, it's, so a lot of performance. Now, meth methanol's been around as a fuel for a long time. The Indy cars, for example, have run on methanol mm -hmm. for a long period of time. So, you know, it is, it is a high-performance fuel. It's well-known in the motor vehicle industry. It's, uh, the catch is, how do you get it well-known to the rest of the general public around yeah. the world? How do you get people thinking, hey, I could put methanol in my car instead of gasoline or in yeah. addition to gasoline? Well, there is a thing called the open fuel standard that has been promoted in Washington, and it, it hasn't made a great deal of progress in the last 12 months. A bit disappointing. The idea is that it, it would encourage the auto companies to manufacture cars that can run on any combination of gasoline or alcohol, being ethanol or methanol. And this car can run on gasoline, methanol or ethanol, so it's uh, completely fuel flexible. That's a very inexpensive modification to a car, and what it does is offer consumers choice. So I think whenever you do that, then you're, you're introducing more competition, we're beginning to displace some of the imported crude oil. So there's lots of good reasons to encourage the open fuel standard. So uh, you're, you said that methanol is very much like ethanol and performs in much the same yeah. way. Why methanol over ethanol? Price. It's all around price. So today methanol sells around $1.20 a gallon today. I think the last n number I saw on ethanol is around $2.50 a gallon. So uh, ethanol is not competitive with gasoline, whereas methanol is. So. It's all about economics. Well, why isn't this in the U.S. market already? <laughs> well, one word, politics. It's, uh, you know, in this country, we've invested a lot in refining capacity, and I think the oil companies do an unbelievable job in efficiently bringing crude oil into the country and refining it. And then, of course, the corn lobby has been very uh, aggressive in promoting ethanol. But I would say you know, that, that we, we need all of these alternatives to to have energy independence and all I would say is you know, let's have an open, a level playing field and allow all the alternatives to compete together so rather than try and pick winners. Yeah, your strategy is not to try and beat out gasoline or not no. to try and beat out ethanol but to augment, That's right, uh, be precisely. part of it, be just one more exactly. option uh, when we're looking at finite resources to fuel cars. Exactly. That's right. And it seems like a very simple and sensible thing to do.